Madam Chief Justice. Doesn't that sound great? <laughs> May it please this honorable court. On behalf of the University of Pittsburgh Law Alumni Association, our valued faculty and our esteemed Dean Amy Wildermuth, it is with high honor and great privilege that I speak about our alumna, my former colleague, and now boss, but still my friend, Deborah Todd. <laughs> At Pitt Law, we encourage our students to apply themselves diligently to the study of law, to evince the highest values of integrity and professionalism, and to find their unique role in advancing the cause of justice. Deborah Todd has done all that. The alumni, alumni of Pitt Law are exceedingly grateful that she chose our school for her legal education. While there, Deborah excelled as a student, was named to Law Review, authored two publications, interned at the District Attorney's Office, and served as a research assistant. After achieving success at Pitt Law, she began her career at U.S. Steel and soon developed a reputation as a renowned civil litigator handling major complex litigation. While her legal career was a culmination of a long-held dream, her true destiny lay beyond the practice of law, but in the judiciary. I think we would all agree that while the legal profession is a demanding one, the judiciary is demanding in its own way. But the person we are celebrating here today made it all look easy. Deborah dissected the briefs, untangled the law, devised an apt approach, and crafted a writing that was crisp, clear, concise, and convincing. Preeminent jurist Ruggiero Aldisert once observed that if a judge wants to write clearly and cogently, the judge must first think clearly and cogently. Judge Todd hit the mark. Her finished product was so logical that it seemed to write itself, but we all know the difficulty and long hours that went into it. Judge Todd did it flawlessly, employing her high intellect, her boots on the ground experience as a seasoned litigator, and her graceful rising. When it came to opinions by Judge Todd, the issues were hard, but the reading was easy. And that is the ultimate goal of a judicial decision, a result that is understandable to the attorneys and judges from Concha Hocken to Conaconessing, from Tyanesta to Tunkanic and everywhere in between. Intellectually curious, she seized upon an opportunity to earn an LLM from the University of Virginia School of Law, all while maintaining a full judicial load on one of the busiest appellate courts in the country. Her significant in-depth legal experience, her highly acclaimed judgeship on the Superior Court, and her advanced legal education all positioned her for service on the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. Her juris jurisprudence on our high court reflects a justice who applies the law fairly and impartially according to the cherished ideals enshrined in our Constitution and in the rule of law. In addition to her legal and judicial accomplishments, Justice Todd's life has been a model of servant leadership. She has promoted access to justice by innovative judicial initiatives, led numerous nonprofit and community organizations, to aid the disadvantaged, served the arts to nourish the soul, and committed her time and considerable talents, including her beautiful soprano voice, to her church for the greater honor and glory of God. She has received countless accolades and awards and honorary degrees. To hear the story of Deborah Todd is to hear one of remarkable achievement, but the truly inspirational part of her story is how she accomplished what she did. Her trademark characteristics have been personal integrity and positive attitude in all she does. As one who has been privileged to sit on the bench alongside her, I have seen firsthand how she extends sympathy and a helping hand to attorneys who might be struggling with their argument or to colleagues or friends experiencing a difficult time. Deborah enthusiastically helps others and carries their burdens. 
She is a consummate role model who instills civility, compassion, and kindness into our troubled world. Notwithstanding the high office she holds, the mantle of authority rests easy upon her shoulders. We at Pitt Law and her colleagues and friends could not be prouder of her. In advancing the cause of justice, she has carved a unique pathway that no one in the history of Pennsylvania has trod before as the first female Chief Justice of the oldest Supreme Court in the country. How will she do it? With a thirst for transforma transformational justice, with unending grace and dignity, and with a smile on her face and a song in her heart. Congratulations, Madam Chief Justice Todd, and hail to Pitt.